Why is it? Hello. Okay, you can see your classmates is there, but they are off. Come. Why you? Why you don't want to to on your camera? Well. Oh, I know. You are playing while you are while you are attending online class. Yes, of course. That you have to you have to to stop playing while you are online class. Because you cannot you cannot understand your lesson. I don't care. Really? Really? Yes? Okay, good morning. Though I cannot see you, I want to say good morning to everyone. So, your classmates can see you here at school. Uh, Alex, Kauklong, Bess, Khan, Oplawine, Win, and Fung Fu are here. So will you please say uh, will you please say good morning to your classmates? One, two, and three. Morning. Okay, good morning, classmates. Okay. So will you please open your book? Uh, it's I think it's not not hard to, to teach online and on site, but students, will you please cooperate? While we are discussing the lesson, you have to listen. Okay, so it is on page 58. 58. Okay, we should start because it's a reading comprehension. Okay, you cannot see your classmates there because they are off camp. So our topic this morning is about friendship. Lawine, I want to ask you, Lawine. What happened? Lawine, may I ask you, do you have a friend? Do you have a friend? Yes. Who is your friend, Lawine? Oh, everyone, everyone in this class is your, are, is your friend. Okay, how about you, Alex? How about you, Alex? I can't, I can't hear. Uh, Newton? Okay, let uh, of course everyone has friends. Okay, no one can tell me or no one can tell you that he or she has no friend. You should have a friend. Even your parents, they can be your friends, your sister, your brother, your aunt. Okay, it's not only your classmates or with the same age. No, you can uh, have a friend any of age you can you can have your your uh, cousin though though maybe she or he is nine years old it can be your uh friend also okay so now you are going to read uh okay before that do you do you know what is the difference between a good friend and a true friend there is a difference between the two. Okay, let us call on Kaimok. Oh, can you hear me, Kaimok? 
Okay, can walk. Uh, do you know the difference between between what is this? Good friend or true friend? Yes. Okay, what is good friend? Can you move your classmates? You're like, are so funny. Can you move what is what is good friend? Um, friend that. Uh, okay, I have here the difference between good friend and a true friend. I know I move that you know the the meaning, but you cannot uh, express it. Okay. So a good friend is loyal and accept you for what you are during the good and bad times, okay? Alex and Lawine, pay, pay attention, please. And a true friend is someone who is, yeah, there, you can uh, read. A true friend is someone who is true, stands up for you when others try to hurt you emotionally or physically, they do everything they can, they can to make sure you stay safe. They don't care who is trying to harm you. They will defend you anytime, anywhere. If they can help you, they'll do it without reservation or reward. That is a true friend. Okay, I have a question. Alex, do you have a true friend? Who is your true friend? Okay, Plawine is your true friend. How about you, Ton? Who is your true friend? Uh, huh? Okay, before that. Okay, you may, Otto. Okay, before that, we have to uh, read the reading comprehension. Is there such a thing as a true friend? Okay. Hey, listen, Alex. Okay. But before that, you have the vocabulary. You can write. Here are the vocabulary on site. Uh, sorry, online. Will you please? While I am uh, giving you the, uh, the vocabulary, you can write your the answer here. Okay. This is very important because if you will have uh, exam, I might put the, their uh, vocabulary. Okay. So for number one, we have here, otherwise genuine, glimpse, resounding, in common, so, sound, sauntering and wheelchair, okay. For number one, walking without hurrying is sauntering, okay. For number two, plus one, what do you think? Real, not false. What do you think is that? Eh? Do not speak Thai when you are in English class. Try to speak English. Okay, I'll give it. I'll give it to you. Genuine. Okay. Uh, sirirat. Sirirat. What is very loud? What is the meaning of very loud? Is this pan, sirirat? Pan? Okay, pan. Okay. Very loud. Hi, pan. Do you know the answer? There is also a hero. Very loud is resounding. Okay. Alex, this is for you, Alex. Shared by two or more people. Shared by two or more people. Huh? Guess. Kau Do you know the answer? Number four. In common, let us seek Alex. 
Very good, Alex. Okay, got a point. Every correct answer that you will give to me, you got a point. A quick, uh, yes. I think you forgot to open um, slide. The microphone? No, slide. Slide? Oh, slide. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Let's stop it first. Okay. Let's have this again. Uh, we're here now. The wine. The wine. How can make? How can I make it big? Big. Kaimuk told me that. Kaimuk, can you can you see the the slide? Yes. Okay, and you are you are you are saying that? Is it okay now? Yes. Okay, okay, thank you. So now a very quick, a very quick view of something. What is that, uh, Kaimok? Kaimok? What is this, Kaimok? Kaimok? It's glimpse, okay? Glimpse. A chair with wheel, uh, with wheels for a person who cannot walk. It, of course, it is. Uh, okay, very good, Kaimo. You are not saying in English. Oh, say it in English. Wheelchair. Okay. What will happen if you do not uh, do something? Of course, it is otherwise. Okay, so let's have this. For worries, concerns. Do you have any concerns or do you have any worries? No, I don't have any concerns. I know I don't have any worries. Okay. A person who listens to your problem. Ton. I told you, do not speak Thai. Huh? A person who listens to your problems. What is that? Okay, Alex. A shoulder to cry on. Very good, Alex. Got a point again. Okay. And Dean, to behave towards someone. What is that? To behave towards someone. Dean. Dean. Auto. Oh. Yes, yes. Okay, also, what is number 10? To behave towards someone. It is what? Okay, I'll give you. Treat. You have to treat someone with pleasing behavior, okay? Good behavior. Important to me. Win. Important to me. What is that? You are important to me. It is? Levine. Yes, of course. Close to my heart. Okay. To speak when someone else is speaking. Kauklong. What? <laughs> no. Okay, Kaimuk, what is to speak when someone else is speaking? You are? Kaimuk. Okay, you are interrupting someone. Okay? If La one is talking and the other one is talking, you are inter interrupting La one. That's uh, how you, you say it, okay? So things you have to do. 
things you have to do. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Okay, very good, Ton. Obligations, okay. To form an opinion about someone. Huh, Alex? To form an opinion about someone, it is judge, of course. Oh, Alex has already three points. Very active or busy? Beth, very active or busy? Huh? On the go. On the go, of course. You are on the go always. Okay. So here is our uh -huh. Let's, uh, the, the, the reading comprehension. Plawine, will you please read? Uh, online, will you please listen to Plawine? This is a topic that uh, calls to my heart, but I didn't really know the answer to the question until about a year ago. First, let me tell you something. You will have around 250 friends in your lifetime, but only six of them will be your true friends. I was quite surprised when I read about this fact in a magazine survey the author day i mean if you if i look down the list of contacts on my mobile most of the names in the list of friends name is the same on you on anyone phone okay thank you thank you plawine so this is This is uh, the first, uh, the text that we just, re uh, just read by Plawine. And it says here that first, let me tell you something. You will have around 350 friends in your lifetime, but only six of them will be your true friends. So it's very hard. It's very hard to have true friends. We have many friends, of course. Like, like here, the author said, the, the one who wrote this, of course, is the author. The one who's saying this is the author of the, of the uh, story, okay? He has 350, but only six of them are true friends, okay? The, can, can, you, can you observe that with your friends? For me, for me, I, I observe that that I have a lot of friends, but true friends are, you can, you can count it with your uh, fingers, okay. So Kaimuk, will you please read? Kaimuk, however. However, it made me stop and ask myself who would contact if I want a shadow to cry on, or if I had a genuine emergency. There were actually only a few people on the list that I phoned in a moment of crisis, and I suppose it's those people that I regard as my true friends. The person I definitely phoned is Rob. I still remember when we first met last year. I was settling past the sports hall in the local leisure center when I got glimpses of a teenage boy in a wheelchair playing basketball. Okay, in here, in the second text, talk long, the second text, uh, if you, I, you have a problem, you, ha you want uh, to have a shoulder to cry on, right? Shoulder to cry on means you have to talk to someone that you can trust, okay? You have to talk to someone who is your true friend if you have a problem. You cannot say your problem to, to every, every, uh, every person that, that you, you, you might uh, meet, right? But you have to choose when, who, to whom are you going to say your problems? Don't say it to anybody, okay? Just say it to your true friend. And here, there is a teenage boy in a wheelchair playing basketball, and his name is Rob. Okay, Rob is there. 
Okay, Alex, will you please read? I stopped and watched. Lifting. Wait. He was a typical teenager. Okay. In doing sort of things. Sin very things. Okay. There is uh, a teenage boy that uh, he was able to to uh, to try to be close. Okay, and uh, they have the same. They are interested in doing the same things according to the author. Okay, will you please read Otto? Otto, hi Otto, are you there? Yes. Okay, will you please read? The most important thing I learned that day is never to judge someone by a book. By one day, look like people often treat love differently because of his wheelchair, but where are you talking? They should take time to find out about the real person. One of the things I admire most about Lord is his, his unselfish nature. He's very good at, listen, at listening and he doesn't ask too many questions. People like that are very generous, especially kids that when everyone is on the go and often people can think beyond their own obligations obligation and person concerns concerns i'm sometimes why and sometimes what the fish so love and very good exam for me okay thank you thank you also here the most imp look at that one the most important thing I learned that day is never to judge someone by what they look like, okay? Everyone, do not judge the person. Uh, for example, Rob. Rob, uh, Rob can't walk. He, he used the wheelchair to walk. Okay, walk, not talk, walk. And then he even, he even played basketball while he was in the, in the wheelchair, okay? So it's amazing. So do not judge, do not judge someone what they look like. If, it, if he or she is ugly, she has, she has, or he has no one eye. Do you think, do you think you cannot, uh, you can, uh, she can't be your friend? No, you have to look at the inner, okay? The inner thought of the person. Do not look at the appearance, the personal appearance of the person, okay? So let's continue. Uh, uh, 
So my answer to the question, hey, listen, both online and on site, is there such a thing as a true friend? Is a resounding yes, yes is the answer. They are the people who are always there for you. They won't mind if you interpret them in the middle, interrupt them. This is interrupt them in the middle of some uh, of night of something important. They won't mind if you call them in the middle of the night because you need someone to talk to, okay? True friend is someone that you can uh, cry shoulder to cry on. Some, uh, someone that you can uh, be not only in good times, but also in your, the, 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 the bad times that you, are, that you have. And true friend is honest, okay, thoughtful, loyal to you, okay? He can accept you no matter what your, your experience in your past, uh, <laughs> past life, oh, your experiences, okay? So try this out. Try this and you will... Uh, know who is your true friend okay this is your activity in your book page 60 number four extend number four extend you are going to to uh, answer this okay ed and i n g ad adjectives we have adjectives some adjectives can have an ed and an i n d form example Bored, boring, interested, interesting. The ED adjective says how people feel, okay? Uh, you have to, to remember this. ED in the adjective says how people feel, okay? I was quite surprised when I read about it. The ING adjective describes the people or things that cause the feelings. Okay, it is different. The results of the magazine survey was surprising. Okay, let's answer this one. On site and online. Okay, for number one, choose the correct uh, words, extend three, three or four? Oh, three. three, three page 60. We really enjoyed the film. It was very entertain entertained, entertaining. Of course it is entertaining okay this is for you Lawine. uh read it first and then answer satisfying your answer is satisfying okay very good Lawine. got a point uh kaimok Number three, will you please read and answer? The children were fascinated. fascinated by the crown movement. So fascinated is your answer. Let us see. Okay, you are correct. I move. Got a point. Number four, Alex. Alex. I find it quite. Hi, hi. Frightened, frightening. Frightened, frightening. ED or IND? Alex. Frightened. Frightened when a big dog jumps up to me, at, at me. Okay, it's frightening. It is the result of the feeling, okay? So let's continue. Uh, Dean, Dean, are you there, Dean? Hello, Dean. Yes. Okay, yes. will you please read number five and answer? It was very difficult match and the player were it has dead by the end. Exhausted, okay, your answer is ex exhausted. Of course, Dean, you got a point for number six. Let's call on Beth. Beth. 
Hello, Beth. Number six, read and answer. My brother. Amused, not amused, amused, amused. or amusing, amusing. By, the joke. by the joke, you spend a pay or two. Okay, what is your answer, Bess? What is your answer? Uh, amused. Amusing, uh, amused. amused. Which, uh, which one, I-N-G or E-D? Yeah. E-D. Okay, got a point for Bess, amused. <laughs> And will you please try this one, Win? For number seven, Win. Will you please try? Read number seven and answer. The weather. Keep quiet, please. The weather is very depressed. Depressing. Get me? Okay, what is your answer, Win? Is it the feeling or the result of the feeling? Depressed is the feeling. Depressing is the result of the feeling. Which one? Depressing. Okay, let's see. Very good. Got a point win. Oh, that's good win. And for number eight, Fung Fu. Will you please try Fung Fu? My mother. Okay, is it annoyed or annoying? Annoyed. Okay. Okay, Fung Fu, you are correct. Very good. Okay, for uh, everyone, you have to, you have your homework. Page 59, number four. Uh-huh. Okay, okay fifty nine number four, everyone here. Okay, you have to you have to answer this fifty nine page fifty nine number four. Okay. So you get it? Okay. Okay, uh, online students, I hope you got all the, the answers and of course your ho uh, homework, okay. So I have a question. Uh, Otto, Otto. Hello, Otto. Yes. Okay, uh, do you have a friend, Otto? Uh, yes. Who is your friend? Who is your friend, Otto? Can you uh, uh, Ton. Ton is your friend. Okay, say hi to Ton. Ton. Otto said you are a friend of his. Okay, a friend of uh, Otto. Okay, Otto. What is the good characteristic or good trait of Ton, Otto? Otto. Friendly. Okay. According to Otto, you are friendly tone. Thank you, Otto. Kaimuk. Hello, Kaimuk. Yes. Do you have a friend, Kaimuk? My classmate. All of them are your friends. Who is your true friend? <laughs> Sorry for a true friend, Kaimuk. Bean. Bean. Bean and P. Uh, okay. No, Bean. Oh. Who? Dean. Okay. And of course, how about you, Dean? Dean? Yes. Do you have a friend? Yes. Who is your friend? Everybody. Okay. Everybody is your friend. But I, I, I'm sure you have a true friends. Okay. But uh, everybody should have a friend to talk to, especially when you are down, okay. So, uh, 
for you guys will you please do your homework and uh, of course your uh, activity send it online write your name please and i'll check it okay so for you online i have to say goodbye to all of you goodbye. see you again next week bye bye good uh goodbye